It's the ultimate dream for master chefs and home cooks alike to open your own restaurant. There's a great party atmosphere here. When we walked in here, we felt it. Enjoy your food. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. I saw this palate coming out with this stuff. Oh, that's cool. But then he scraped it on the table. Automatically, I lost my appetite. Within 20 seconds, fried onions get cold, and you are left with puddles of grease. The mushroom was not very good. I wonder what the mushroom did to these people, that they would treat it that way. It's very, very hard to get the beans on the bread without it falling off, so I don't think it was really well thought out. What's amazing to me is the fact that they don't mention anywhere in the menu or even tell you you're gonna be with your hands is shocking to me. You gotta tell people. I think 75% of your people are gonna ask for forks. How about 99%? Well, in this hamburger, I'm gonna tell you, it's cooked perfect. They did a great job in cooking the meat, and it came out uh, the way I'd want oh, my you gotta have to sweets of some sort, like a killer brownie that's the size of there that just they just bake could, it. You could it, go nuts. With you dessert. go nuts with dessert, right? It would be hard to roll this out without having a really good dessert. I need a chicken and fish right away, please. Chicken and fish, got it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Service is getting really busy. We're running around, and then the judges walk in. Yo, the judges are here. Mix and match chairs. I like the pink flamingos. I love the sheets. With the menu on the sheets, it's genius. I love the AstroTurf. That's one of my favorites. The AstroTurf Astro is amazing. The sum of the parts add up to the whole, which really does create that trailer park chic. That's the situation right there. Okay. I know they're all huge, huge players in the restaurant industry. I'm a little bit nervous. The chicken is crispy. It's moist. The chicken is awesome. I think the steak is lacking in taste. I think it's a little on the rare side. It needs a little bit of work. I agree with you. It's just, it's not, it's not flavorful enough. Mm -hmm. I cannot go through a dinner looking at this gigantic fish head. I expected the fish to talk to us when it came to the table. But it does completely set them apart from any other type of restaurant that we've seen in a long while. This is really very... The menu has a lot of difficulty in it, and rolling it out and opening up 10, 15, 20, 30 of these and being consistent is a lot harder than just saying one restaurant works. I think if you, you, uh, you smiled a little bit more <laughs> and gave people a little bit more of the spirit that you do have, I think it'd be great. I was thinking about that. I was like, man, I should probably be a little bit happier when I'm out on the floor. 24 hours is over, the restaurant's done, now it's in the judge's hands. Let's talk about our two restaurants here. At the A and B filling station, two thirds of the people said that they would come back again. I think it's impressive that they said that. You had a couple of guys who had this really funny concept and but took the food way too seriously. If you have a concept like A and B filling station, you know, you have to be lighthearted about it. You can't be so serious and kind of uptight about it. But it was at the end of the day when you finished eating there, it was homespun. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that sealed the deal for a lot of people at A and B. Let's talk about what the customers thought about the cave-in. A lot of people said that they didn't think that they would like eating with their hands, but they loved it. <laughs> Overall, a lot of the people who ate here said that they would come back. I think the cave-in restaurant uh, makes you smile. It has a presence as soon as we walked in. I got it. What I didn't like about cave-in uh, was that my butt still hurts uh, <laughs> a after having sat down. Didn't like the fact that they didn't have a dessert. The one thing that I'll say, though, is you can get pressed on a place like this with your eyes shut. I think it's very sellable. When you walk inside the cave-in, I mean, you look at this concept and like, wow, these guys have nailed it. Yep, great. So thank you guys so much for your expertise and your input. I'm going to go tell the teams. <laughs>